Beneficiaries of Social Security, including those receiving retirement, disability, Social Security disability insurance, SSDI survivors, spousal, and SSI will get critical news in February. The specific dates, checks, and money will be arriving for Social Security recipients. In this very video, I have provided you with all of the information that you require, including all of the specifics. All right, let's dive right into it. I am aware that in this video, we are concentrating specifically on the month of February and all of the dates that throughout the month of February, checks will be distributed, money will be distributed, and significant announcements will be made that are directly focused on Social Security and all of the beneficiaries of fixed income that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. February is again another hectic month, just like every other month that comes by. This is an ongoing trend. I'll dive into it and speak about all the specifics and dates you want to know when those checks will be arriving, as they will be arriving a little bit later this month for those beneficiaries who receive a fixed income. I'll also talk about the exact dates. On the other hand, I will also provide a few more dates for you in this video as well. Come on, let's get down to business and go over everything in detail. Really quick before we do, and I appreciate you coming to be with me. Ensure that you do yourself a really tremendously big favor if you have not already done so. Click on the subscribe button that is located directly below the video. Making use of this service is completely free of charge and I will be right here by your side each and every day. It is a very busy time right now because things are changing very quickly and I am here to advocate on your behalf as well as keep you updated to do all the research, to watch all the headlines, the bills, packages and proposals or anything else that is popping up right now that you might be able to grab and or take advantage of because, as I mentioned earlier, things are changing very quickly. There are a lot of announcements that are going to be brought out, and anything that is going to appear is something that you might be able to grasp or take advantage of. This includes, but is not limited to, money, benefits, raises to benefits, checks, programs, stimulus, and anything else that is similar. It is something that I want to bring to your attention right away, which is precisely what I do here in these films on a daily basis. Please be sure to subscribe down there so that you don't miss any videos in the future. And now that we've established that, let's get down to business and start a discussion about February. Now we are here. Wow, have we already reached the end of this year? This is a genuine question, February. <sighs> Absolutely insane, isn't it? Just for the record, February of 2024. Whatever the case may be, let's get down to business and discuss all of these dates. The following is what I would like to do for you. I would like to begin right here and right now at the beginning of the month, and then proceed to discuss all of the dates that are spread out throughout the month of February. Not only do we have a month that is a little bit shorter than usual, but this year is also a leap year. So the month that we have is not nearly as short as it would normally be. It's interesting, isn't it? That being said, for those of you who have a birthday on the 29th of the month, I must say, wow, are you turning 20 this year or something? I am obviously being a little bit sarcastic, but you seem to understand what I am trying to say. That is something that is frequently made fun of by those who have a birthday on the 29. They are saying things like, I'm turning 13 this year, and they are in their 50s or something, which is true. It's a little bit humorous. Anyway, we'll speak about that more here in just a moment. But before we do that, let's go over the specifics of the month of February, including what's going on and all of these dates that I want to bring to your attention. Let us now discuss the current day. This very moment, on this very day, February 1st, we are here. All right. So the situation is that those of you who are receiving SSI, which stands for Supplemental Security Income, should have received your payment today. Is that correct information? On top of that, this is your increased payment. You should have received your first payment, which was actually received by you on the 29th of December, which was the end of December. You received your first payment of $9. 43 as an individual, or up to $14, $15 as a married couple, provided that you are receiving the maximum amount, by the way. Please accept that as the maximum. There is no doubt that you have received your other one today, 
regardless of whether it is deposited into a bank account, sent via Direct Express, or any other method, you should have received it by now. In the event that you did not receive it in your Social Security benefits, you could want to consider making a phone call or something similar. On the other hand, you really ought to have realized that by now. Now that we've covered it, let's go on to the next topic, which is tomorrow, the second, okay? Therefore, tomorrow, which is Friday, February 2, and there are a few different events that are going to take place next week. First things first, for those of you who are receiving benefits from a fixed income on the third of every month, guess what? Indeed, it is Saturday. On Saturdays, Sundays, and statutory holidays, we are not paid for our work. On the other hand, you ought to receive your payment tomorrow, all right? Although this does not apply to everyone, there are some individuals who do receive their paychecks on the third of the month. And for those individuals, your payment will be delivered to you on Friday because it is evident that the third day is a Saturday. Is that okay? The first place goes to that. After that, we will also be obtaining the payroll number for non-farming employees. In other words, the report on the job, is it okay? This is something that you have heard me discuss in the past. This is a really significant statistic that we want to continue to keep an eye on right now especially right now, because this number that will be released tomorrow will provide us with a glimpse into the number of jobs that were created or lost during the month of January, as well as what is going on with the unemployment rate. Are you of the opinion that this will be of significance? Yes, I am. How come? Because it is highly likely that a large number of seasonal workers will be terminated, which means they will be let go, and because they will no longer be required to provide assistance during the holiday season. Although there are some employees who remain on the job until January due to the fact that it is the return season, the point I am trying to make is that we are going to start to see a lot of layoffs as a result of all of the seasonal help that arrived in November and December to assist with the holiday decorations. Consequently, this is going to be an eventful report. Additionally, as you have heard me mention in previous videos, the possibility of receiving additional stimulus checks increases in proportion to the degree of unemployment. Nevertheless, there is no assurance that this will occur. I just want to take a moment to bring that to your attention. Now that we have that out of the way, let's push it all the way out till Tuesday, the 13th of February. This day, what are the events that are taking place?